hello guys welcome back to my channel how you all doing i believe you guys are doing amazing thank you for stopping by i just want to say if today is your first time of coming to my channel my name is blessing i am my husband we are agents here in north cyprus so thank you guys for all your support and everything and also i just want to say if you're not yet subscribed please click the subscribe button subscribe comment share my video to your lovers to people that you know that are interested in studying not cyprus because my channel is very educative you'll learn so many things about not cyprus before you land so do that real quick comment subscribe and all those good stuff so let's get into the video all right guys so in today's topic i'm going to be talking about um how to register your sim and your phone when you arrive here in north cyprus right, so before i get started with that let me just um talk about something different before i talk about that um very very quick i was telling you, there's a video that i did now now that you're in north cyprus what do you have to know that you have to do as in the things that you have to do so maybe you can go and check that video out so that you get to know all that you need to know so but let me just tell you guys concerning um your student permit which is very important please and please again like i don't know how to put this please first of all I, i've often to, um like say this thing just erase your mind now that you're in north cyprus just erase your mind on any kind of experience that you've gotten back home in your home country and everything is a different ball game over here so don't be getting information especially when you've learned here in north cyprus from students or one thing or the other if you have any issue that you're, you want to know go straight up to your international office talk to them student affairs talk to them they will guide you on everything you just don't want to get information from random people get the right information for um from the right office from the office where you went to do your registration ask them they will guide you or they will direct you on the person that will guide you on all that you need to um know concerning your student permit uh, i think i'll be talking about this intense in another video but the best thing that you have to do when you land there after you do your registration is for you to go asap just go and start doing your um your student um, permit because if you don't know they stamped you 60 days so you that 60 days means that instead of 60 days you just have to do everything to get um your real student permit okay so um i think i'm just going to talk about that topic some other time but today i just wanted to concentrate on the restriction of sim and everything if i can but I, because i used to promise this is it's, it's a lot of work it's a lot of work for me because in case you guys don't know i'm working here full time and i'm also doing agents my husband and i we're also doing agents as part-time job so it's kind of really crazy like you're picking students you're doing this you're doing that you're recording you're editing like sometimes i don't have the time to do all what i promise you guys in the video so maybe i can put the screenshot in the video maybe i will not but there is a student that recently told me about that oh yeah i actually forgot this um part so when you arrive here whether you get your sim okay there's two things let me talk about the registration of the sim that is your sim to register your sim first of all is that when you arrive here some people get in the airport that's your sim a new sim you get in the airport some people get it um in like in your city but may i advise that you get it in your city so that you just in case there's anything you can run back to the person that you bought it from not necessarily getting in the airport and you already know that airport thing in every country airport stuffs are always expensive so that's just that for that so talking about the registration of the seed um i want to um i want to tell you guys that when you're going there i know that you're when you want to go and buy a sim first of all they'll ask you for your passport and one thing that you just tell them but they will know sha but still tell them that you're a new like you're, you're a new student and you're just coming for the first time so because sometimes maybe the system is down and you know this business they just want to sell the sim and so you just have sim so sometimes maybe the system is down they don't register your sim i'm talking this register very fast they don't register your sim so if they don't register your sim they'll they'll send you an sms 
within two, three days, they will send an SMS that you should come and register your SIM. They will give you three months to come back and register your SIM. So, what I'll tell you guys is that first of all, for you not to be going and coming and everything, you can just as well just tell them that hope oh, they've they've registered the SIM so that you don't have to be you come back there and everything. So, first of all, you have to register your SIM where you buy your SIM, you register your SIM and everything. Ask them and know that you've registered your SIM. Simple. Then, second again, um, phone, phone registration. Like it was a new thing that I started. Like this is about two years now. If you're bringing a phone from what, whichever country that you're bringing a phone, your mobile phone, you have to register it in Cyprus government stuff and all that. So um, I know that the location. <laughs> I can't. I can't remember the location. I don't even know the name of the location, but I know the place. But the place is that if you're in city center, if you get to city center, if you come down from the bus, if you're taking the commercial bus just straight i don't know how to explain this but it's just within the city center location you pass straight if you stop at city center there is a roundabout yes i see no turkish embassy i see you're going to talk Turkish embassy, but that one is a different game because when school when school bus stop you it's going to stop you at your left hand side so you just be going straight there is a roundabout just be going straight then Oh, that's good. You see Domino Pizza or Acts of Domino Pizza. If you just see that Domino's Pizza, your left curve there, you just see the place. If you see, see this is because everything that, as in when you come down from the bus, straight. as you come down from the bus, just be looking straight. You see around the back, just cross and be going straight. Ask somebody of Domino's Plaza. When you see the Domino's Plaza, um, you just turn. It's a small street. You just turn there. After that, after the Dominion's Plaza building, the next building, you just see this kind of Cypress. You, you see a building that is not like uh, residential. You see this, the Cypress um, government something, even the black, uh, flag. You just know. Just It's very close. Dominion's Plaza, just enter that. Pizza. Sorry, Dominion's Pizza. Sorry, Pizza. You guys should not get confused. Dominion's Pizza. So you just enter. It's just the, the Dominion's Pizza is in this building. Like, this is the building that the small street here yeah. just enter you see the 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 building where you do the stuff and everything but i don't know when i'm going to go there so i can just give you the right location but it's it's it's, it's a little bit more helpful right 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 all right so just go there and register your phone but one thing i want to say is that i noticed that people you guys are just coming you have iphone Android, Samsung, this one. See, they already know. Especially for you that you guys that are using branded phone like iPhone, like Samsung, like Android. Like Android is vast, but iPhone and Samsung, they already know the price. So if they they make like iPhone, whatever, they will just check and tell you that this is how much you have to pay. So if you're using all this kind of phone, don't bother. You're going to pay a little bit money. So at least from hundred TL upwards. So just go there and register your phone. Because like I I uh, I think I even but I didn't show the road but I there's a video that I did two years ago that I showed um we are right here in I put it in the description box that I showed when the process of how to register the phone that the person was actually registering phone but however it's just it's just closed and everything so what I'm trying to say is that oh, I hope I'm not everywhere but what I'm trying to say is that register your your sim and also register your phone because they'll not um, you'll not have a connection issue in your sim within the three months but after then they'll just they'll block it because they'll, before the three months they'll keep sending you message sms they'll keep sending you if you don't do it they'll block that sim so when you go now you have to i think you have to buy another sim register it and everything so just good to just do everything there for your phone i know i know that if you don't do it if you don't register your phone after that that three months time again it might not be going and maybe or it's be having problem you don't know the reason it's because they want to track the government not and it's not cyprus government they track all the so they want to have a database of everybody phone and sim and all those stuff so that's why they created that so you register your your sim you register your phone but sim registration is very easy because if you just anywhere you go to buy your sim you register it there 
So it's more easy than locating this um, phone on, but at least I, I tried. Domino's Pizza, just follow the end. Just say phone, you see it, and you register your phone. So yeah, so this is what I just wanted to talk about. And I wish you guys safe trip. This is a video that I'm about to land not Cyprus. I wish you guys safe trip. Just go back to my videos, watch, watch all those things. Then when you land here in North Cyprus, what you have to do, do them, ask questions from the right source, from the um, school authorities, and everything. Everything is just gonna be fine. Cyprus is so easy. It's gonna be fine. Uh, hey, I just remember. Let me just say it here. People don't know how Cyprus is calm and secure. Like I've been to Asia. I schooled in Asia. Like not full complete, but I transferred to here, so I know I've weighed the system. North Cyprus is not Cyprus because that's where I'm living. As in North Cyprus is so. If you don't know Cyprus, eh, you think he's not in this world. North Cyprus is so innocent. It's so calm. To be sincere, like it's so calm. Like you can you can walk in the street twelve o'clock, one o'clock. Nobody harass you and everything because some people and some parents ask me, Oh, how is not Cyprus like in terms of security? You see, though, like my husband was saying, but now people are becoming a little bit cautious because foreigners are just tripping in, so things are not changing a little bit. But before my husband would tell me that they don't even close door, you just bad your door and go to your work and come back. Nobody will steal anything, nothing like. In case you guys don't know, Cyprus is, let me, because every time it, it skips my mind to talk about the security system in North Cyprus. Cyprus is like freaking, freaking so um, quiet, so calm, like less crime, less, less, less crime. Like I've never heard somebody walking on the street and they say they snatch bag or whatever. Cyprus is that safe, it's safe in, as a, no, like the crime like it's just like that's why some people like oh i i think i can just make cyprus my home in terms of because there are little little things that they have here that's actually good so in terms of security and how safe the country is and everything cyprus is so chilled like to be serious it's just as if it's not in this world it's so chilled i see they don't know what is crime like Cyprus is chill. You can even time to time so you can keep your door closed and open and whatever is when you have bad neighbors that you be too cautious but in the most part security wise cyprus is calm and very good like it's very very safe it's very safe it's very safe hardly you hear too much trouble or people snatching bags snatching phone all those things then is not is not recorded at all so all right guys so i hope this video helped you you learned one or two things thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys